and a warm welcome from Hello and welcome back to Armchair Armory. Apologies in advance, but I didn't have time to record some proper audio. So, we have Sunderland in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup on Tuesday. I think you're going to see Arteta put out a completely different side to the ones you saw against West Ham and Leeds. I think you will see players like Holding, Chambers, Pepe, Dia and Elneny in this game. I think the main thing is that we just have to get the job done. There's a semi-final at stake and a chance to win a trophy, regardless of whether it's tin pot or not. A trophy is still a trophy, despite what some of the naysayers like to have you believe. Then again, I do hope we fare better in real life than I did in this FIFA 22 simulation. Ha ha. Anyway, I'll be back again, properly, after the game, giving my thoughts. Until I speak to you again. Take care and stay safe. Enjoy the rest of this simulation. Well, let's run the rule over the Sunderland starting lineup. Well, they're playing the same shape, really, so it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. And the contest begins. And Kessia. And on to Pepe. And clears his lines. Nketia, a very good tackle. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And the problem not completely solved. Nketia takes the shot. Powerful effort, close. O'Brien and scope for them to produce something exciting. How could he find someone at the far post? But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. What a shocking pass, really. Nicola Pepe. Nketia. Nicely timed tackle. He's given it away. Stewart has it. Could be threatening. And the cross goes in. Splendid defending. Martinelli. Nkesia, Nicola Pepe. What an important piece of defending. Magidi. Couldn't hang on to it. Richard. An attack full of promise. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 
Not the pass he had in mind. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Maitland Niles. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But well, they took care of the situation defensively. A running room in the wide position. Good looking ball. Offside, close one. Nicola Pepe and Ketia has it far from a good pass Stewart has it well the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that clean challenge good thing from his point of view well as you can see Arsenal have had most of the ball but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far they just haven't had enough guile in the final third it's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. O'Brien, high quality defending. Martinelli. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Nicola Pepe. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Teammates in the middle. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Stewart has it. Excellent ball over the top. He's got to score! Splendid stuff from Leno in goal. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, a bit short with the clearance. That is that for the first half here. Well, we expected he would be a dominant figure out there. Every reason to believe he would be, but not so, Stuart. Well, I've been really disappointed with him today. He just hasn't influenced the game, which is a big surprise to me. Normally, he controls that midfield area with his great passing ability.
And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. O'Brien. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. A decisive clearance it was. Richard. And the keeper got there. Playing it in. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Firing it towards goal. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Kessia El Neni with it couldn't keep the ball well as those stats tell us Sunderland have been second best in terms of possession but their attacking play has been really incisive it's been a really good display from them so far Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. McGeady. They could really get at the opposition. Careless in possession. Well, not giving him any breathing room. So a half an hour remaining. They've given it away. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And the goalkeeper... Oh, it's a penalty! Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 30, Eddie Nketiah. To be replaced by... To extend their lead here. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Kolasinac. Gabriel Martinelli. Now Lacazette. Cedric and it's with Maitland-Niles and they find a gap in the defence and just like that they don't have the ball anymore Stewart has it and a creative look about this and that pass could be troublesome oh the crossbar is still reverberating There's 20 minutes remaining now. Possession one. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He has time to play it over. El Nene. Marcinelli. Magnificent challenge to win it back.
and he takes it away El Nenny. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. A wonderful intervention. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. Arsenal have possession again. Until they have a goal in the future. They're giving it a go. And they need to get tighter here. Has someone to play it to. Now able to close down the short. Well, the pass not finding its target. Lacazette! Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Now sending it in. Well cleared away. Nicely cut out. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Oh, he's given it away. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. Difficult to stop him. Perfect challenge. Well, just listen to these Arsenal fans. They're certainly driving their team forward here. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.